Hello, this is just a little quick video that I wanted to put together for you because I have a lot of people ask me what's the best way to track their business miles. And um, there are two apps that I really like to use. They run in the background um, on your phone while you're driving and you don't have to think about it. That's the issue with doing a log is that you have to keep a piece of paper and a pencil in your car that's dedicated for your mileage log. And it's, um, unless you do it religiously, it fails. And so I like to use the Mile IQ app. It's a, it's a great piece of uh, software that runs behind the scenes on your phone and it tracks you when you're driving. So it will take your location A, like when you're leaving your office and going to the post office, and it will track that you went from your office to the post office. And it will also track when you run to one of your friend's house or, um, or to the grocery store. And so you wanna make sure that you set your business hours in there so that it's not tracking everything that you're doing, um, just what you're doing mostly for business hours. Or uh, the beauty of it is that um, when you're reviewing your um, your mileage log where it's tracked you and where you've gone you can swipe to the left if it's personal and you can swipe to the right if it's business and it will learn it will learn the the places that you go automatically as well so that you can um, auto categorize this one particular drive let's say that you go to your mom's house and uh, quite frequently and so you swipe left 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 for all those drives to your mom's house and then it learns that you're driving to your mom and then it will ask you if you'd like to always categorize those drives as personal and you just select yes and um, then you don't have to deal with it any longer same with going to the grocery store it will learn that but um, that's one way with the Mile IQ app. It's an easy download. You can play around with it. You do have to turn your location settings on. Um, you can just set business hours, but um, you can also set it for always and it runs in the background. Um, so the next morning when you're drinking your coffee, you can open up your Mile IQ app and you can categorize your drives and have that all done for you. Super easy. It's a great tool. Um, my clients that have used it have loved it. So uh, the other one is with the QuickBooks Online app. It's a new feature actually. Um, so what you do with that is you just go to your um, settings and you set up mileage. There's a, a little button in the bottom right corner for mileage and you set up your car and you have to turn you have to turn your location settings on for that app also, but it'll walk you through it and it, it tracks your drives as well. And my daughter's been using that. She likes it pretty well. And um, she's categorizing her drives with it. And, you know, it also lets her uh, get into the QuickBooks app and be able to pull her P&L uh, pretty easy and check that as well. So they're both very good apps. I haven't used the QuickBooks Online app yet, but I, uh, I'm i going to set my car up and see how it works. But uh, you should, Give it a try, give it a whirl so that you can track your mileage and not have to um, keep a log anymore. And then at the end of the year, it's in your, if you use the QuickBooks app, it's in your data for your accountant. And if you use the Mile IQ app, you'll, you will have to, um, I think that there's a fee in order to, to pay to pull the report. So you'll wanna set up that uh, service so that you can get a nice report and print them out and give them to your accountant at the end of the year. All right, thank you everybody. Have a good day.